said line we got coming up on the right hand sidebar is a faithful take on dracula now this story comes to you directly from screen rant on how the dracula reboot will be more faithful to the original novel than other adaptations now director karen kasama i hope i said her name accurately teases a new dracula reboot will be more faithful to bram stoker's novel than other adaptations made in the past director karen Kasama has teased the Dracula reboot will be different from other adaptations of the source material. Kasuma was announced as the director of the new adaptation back in March following the box office success of Blumhouse's The Invisible Man. The BBC recently aired a brand new iteration of the character in the series Dracula, which also premiered on Netflix in January 2020. The series, which was met with mixed reviews, followed the vampire's origins in Eastern Europe and contained several differences from the novel. However, the show included facets of the original story that other adaptations had left out. Now, I'm not familiar with this new series that they said that they have i'm not familiar with it at all but um let's just continue further in the article and but but i do want to say i haven't seen the new series i haven't known anything about it i just now recently in researching this story saw a couple of stills it looks interesting maybe something i may revisit down the line but i'm not well aware of this at all now to continue the article, the new the new Dracula reboot will be based on the beloved novel from Bram Stoker. The story follows Count Dracula, a vampire that relocates from Transylvania to England in order to find fresh blood and spread his deadly curse. As a result, a battle begins to brew between the vampire and a group of people led by a man, Abraham Van Helsing. There have been countless adaptations of Stoker's Dracula. Stoker's novel, including the 1958's Dracula starring Christopher Lee, 1992's Bram Stoker's Dracula starring Gary Oldman, which I loved, and more recently in 2014 Dracula Untold, which I haven't seen, starring Luke Evans. The latter created a new origin for the story for the iconic character, straying away from the story of Stoker's novel. Now, I'm not going to read the whole article. But they really go on to really, like, delve into the idea of this one being more towards the book. Now, I haven't read the book myself. I've actually seen the Bram Stoker Dracula film from prior, and I loved it. So I can't really do a good and an honest compare and contrast when dealing with was it more faithful to the book than not now i'm a firm believer and i like to see faithful adaptations from source material to screen as much as we can it's called the adaptation for a reason because if you do it verbatim by the book it might not play out well in terms of space um in terms of pacing but most importantly time a book that's written for like maybe 400 to 500 pages might in excess be about like a four-hour film maybe I mean, we've, you can't expect that to be the most appropriate business model, but I do feel like you could do faithful adaptations from a book on screen and omit things that you might not really need to be shared in the actual visual telling. That being said, the, the, the Dracula character in and of itself, it, 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 it far surpasses the book and and it's historical backdrop to be quite honest so you could kind of go anywhere with the idea of dracula i like i said i haven't read the book from what i've read read in terms of like their personal take it seems that they have a better take on the film in terms of like it was more romanticized in the film adaptation as opposed to how it was in the actual book the book from what i understood in reading another article from cbr comic book newbie um comic book movie news where i actually first read the article before screen rat they talked about how the book actually told the story of dracula from several different points of view he was more like i don't know if a MacGuffin would be the per perfect way to describe him 
but he was basically, I guess I, I, the idea of him was kind of where Todd McFarlane wanted to do with his incarnation of a live action Spawn. Spawn was never going to be actually seen on screen per se. He was he, more of a mythical figure in the backdrop. You like you would hear him, of course. He, it would be told untraditionally, akin to way a comic book film would be. And they wanted to, he wanted to bring more scare factor to it. From what I understand, and reading another article from where the director was coming from, was that. In the book, it was different tellings. It wasn't as romanticized, and it was different depictions. So there was, you seen Dracula through di several different lenses. Would be a very interesting approach to do the film if you really would like to see that kind of depiction. It would make for a very artsy type of film, and it would take a real seasoned director or a director that that's their shtick. To tell a good tale like that, that could be still cohesive and entertaining at the same time, that will garner more rewatches, which that's a necessity of the industry of the film. Film industry, I hate to say it twice, but the film industry is basically it's a business and it runs as a business. Money has to come in, and if you can't get an entertaining film out there, no matter how passionate you are about it, and no matter how much the critics may like it and may revere it, if, if it's not enticing enough to make people want to go sit down and pay to watch, then you're just not going to go anywhere. And that's usually the balance beam that you try to have in being faithful to material, but also making putting your artistic spin onto it, as well as giving something that the audience would like more than just making something that's just so subjectively for you that only you could understand what you're the, the the painting that you're actually painting that being said i would like to just drop down to one last part of this article where we can get a little bit more of a response from the actual director she goes on to say in an interview on the King cast via Bloody Disgusting, Kasuma teased that her Dracula reboot will be different from other adaptations of the Stoker's novel. When discussing her approach to the reboot, she states, It's a fairly faithful adaptation of Bram Stoker's novel. She goes on to say, I think something gets overlooked in the adaptations of Dracula in the past is the idea of multiple voices. In fact, the book is filled with different points of views. And the one point of the and the one point of view we don't get access to and almost at and all most adaptations give access to is Dracula himself. So I would just say in some respect this is going to be an adaptation called Dracula, but it's perhaps not the same kind of romantic hero that we've seen in the past in past interpretations of Dracula. And that's what we just talked about, which is going to be an interesting approach. But the fact that they want to take the novel, which has been more romanticized, to give it a more horror aspect. Though she didn't say in this quote, but from what I, I recall from reading elsewhere, that's the aim that she wants to go in. And I think that's the perfect aim to go. The, the, the romantic aspects of Dracula has been around all the time even if you have a master uh, vampire in the film like you can see that in um not vamp even uh, no nah, not really vamp even though they had there was sexual nature with the, the 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 queen vampire in that um fright night there's always a romantic seduction type of thing going into it that makes Dracula come off more erudite or more like sophisticated, a man of sophistication and of romance. And this is how he usually seduces his uh, victims, which tend to be more often than not usually a female in terms of who he wants to be with him in turn, as opposed to just somebody for feeding. And with that being said, I'm interested. The question is, though, 
what do you guys think? Are you interested in a new adaptation of Bram Stoker's Dracula? Have you read the novel? Are there anything else you would like to educate me on that would make it a lot more fascinating? Not just for me, but for the audience. Leave it in the comments below.